Nick Kyle Avocado has lost a bunch of weight, if you didn't know. Oh, this God. is him now. This is a video he just uploaded. That bug got 31 million in two days. So apparently for the past two years, he has been losing weight in the background. I guess he had videos pre-recorded or whatever. Uh, instead of watching his long video, we're going to watch a shorter recap of what happened. Right. Charlie's going to tell us everything we need to know. Last night, I went to bed. Before we get into this, I'm going to be completely honest and completely transparent with y'all. Uh, y'all on YouTube, he's going to be honest with you. Pick, we have a new goal for Aaron. Like, on, on, on everything. Oh, so, let's, let's right. be honest, bro. Like, he told chat this. He got to tell YouTube I got to tell YouTube this. So, like, when I saw this, y'all y'all know. I be, I be on my, my, my workout stuff. I, it's a struggle for me. I, I'll be honest. I'm not as good as I should be on most days. I ain't going to lie. But I do want this weight off. When I saw he lost his weight, and I saw, I saw, like, everybody was like, he dropped, he lost it in seven months. Mike went upstairs. I closed my door. I start crying. <laughs> I, was in my, I was in my room bowling. I was like, yeah, like, why? <laughs> bro, I was messed up, bro. I, it, it told me up, bro. It told me up. And if you go, I even put a tweet out. I was like, seven months, bro. Like, I was messed up about it, bro. It I was messed up, bro. You going to get it done? But it, it was two years, apparently. We, yeah. let's, let's get some information. Bed really early. I was just all tuckered out, so I said, Goodbye, Moon, and I snuggled on into bed to catch some Zs. Little did I know that while I slumbered, we'd all been paid a visit yeah. by someone very special. And I'm no not talking about Santa Claus, but no I am progress. talking about another man Aaron in a red don't shirt. Feel Nikocado Avocado. I woke up this morning <coughs> in a different timeline. I think we shifted back to the Berenstein Bears universe and left mm -hmm. the Berenstain Bears universe behind. Two steps ahead. Also, um, I'm going to point this out. He lost the weight, but he's still a psychopath. He's still a psychopath. He's still crazy. Y'all know how much money that video just made him? That 25 minute, 31 million views in the first couple of days, bro. It was, a, it was great. We everybody was telling him, bro, just lose the weight. You can still do content. And now that you lost the weight, you don't have to do mukbangs anymore. You can do anything. You can do anything you want. We know who you are, bro. The craziest part: this is the same dude that showed his asshole on the internet. Yeah, just turned around and flashbanged us all. I am always two steps ahead. He is creative enough to do anything. This at has this point. been the greatest social experiment for my entire life. So I am the villain because I've made myself. You look like one. a villain. This moment right here is this generation's "I am your father." This is up there with the Darth Vader identity reveal. Yeah. Perhaps one of the most unexpected things I've seen in quite some time. When I was <coughs> watching this, I let out an audible "Whoa!" Like I couldn't help myself. My body responded without any other part of me so having we. say so over it. My body. I said Lex Luthor from Team Wu. I was thinking it. Oh man, man. Lex Lex I Luther swear, bro. Team Wu, my bro. soul was shocked when he took the mask off there. So <clears throat> he gives like a villain monologue that sounds like it's out of the Fallout universe, talking about how he's two steps ahead because he had played the villain for so long now. Today I woke up from a very long dream. And I also woke up having lost 250 pounds off Damn. my body. Damn! Yet just yesterday, people were calling me fat and sick and boring. I think something is mentally off with him, though. Like, I mean, at this point, he kind of, you I know. I think he's kind of. From YouTube success to all the. I think he's, I think he's a little cooked. Being the villain and all that. I think he looks good. Getting, you know, but 250, bro, please. Two, God, <laughs> please. Please. <coughs> Can I get a hot tub? Well, I'm please. coughing now when we start please, recording. Please, Damn it. Please. Damn it, man. Oh, boy. I'm bad, oh, too. Hey, I'm bad, too, bro. I was good on the call until we start streaming. It's the first video of the day. I'm sorry, YouTube, man. Losing 250 pounds is an unbelievable feat that's nothing shy of extraordinary. And he mentions how even yesterday, YouTubers and many other people were calling him sad, fat, depressing, sick, and all of that, and still making videos about him. Imagine somebody was in the process of making a video. over the course of two years, 
had been losing all of that weight, and all the videos that people were talking about were actually videos that Nikocado had filmed two years prior and kept drip feeding to the community to keep them either entertained or keep himself fanning the flames of drama for people to latch on to. It, it is actually very fascinating. Now, it some is. of you might recall no about doubt. four years ago, Nikocado, Avocado, and myself had a tiny bit of beef. I'm talking like a Salisbury steak level of beef between us and... We had a bit of a tinkle tussle back and forth pissing contest and boo fact check jump scare. I wanted to double check when all of that took place. So I looked at it. It turns out it was 2021 AD. Uh, it was late <laughs> September. So it's coming up on three years, not Bro, four. It's been four years since the, the pandemic. Four years, bro. About to be five. Uh, we still getting hit by that bit. Four. Damn. I was a little off on that. Time moves very weird now. Time, I, I don't know what happened, <clears throat> but time is moving at a different speed than it used to. It really After is. After all that drama, I had actually kept up with Nikocado Avocado, occasionally just tuning in to check in and see what's going on. I made a video like a year ago on a piece of content that Nick dropped where he actually did talk about a weight loss journey that he was going on. And... I've kind of just been cheering him on from the sidelines ever since then, just hoping that he'd follow through on that and just to see where it all goes. He followed so through. So to see this come up was not only extremely surprising, just given how much weight he had lost in a relatively short period of time. I know to a lot of people, two years, like on the internet terms, that's like ancient history. Things that happened two years ago, that might as well be the fucking void century that no one remembers. Uh -huh. But like speaking realistically, two years to lose 250 pounds... That's a speed run. Those are gold splits. Yes. I haven't made a video for like two years. And um, this is where I'm posting now on this channel. So I hope you consider subscribing if you want. I'm actually posting more next week. So he seems normal. I don't know. Yeah, it's a whole different video. Yeah, it's just I can't. He played the villain real well. I can't like. Put my finger on it, bro. Well, okay. Let's take a step back, right? <clears throat> Let's say he actually hasn't made a video in two years, according to what he said. Mm -hmm. And he's been on his weight loss journey. He's just been uploading old shit. What we've been seeing is old him. In two years? Give me a phone. That's a lot that can... You know what I'm saying? Go to the channel. When that when, when he did that collab? That was two years ago. Oh, that was damn. two, three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Two years of not being on the internet while losing weight, while that grind and all of that, that's a whole different person, bro. Well, for the most part. Yeah, that would mean a lot to me. On his second channel, he mentions that it's been two years since he's made a video. So you can piece little breadcrumbs together in your head and follow this path here, connecting the dots. He has released videos on all of his channels over the course of two years, quite a few of them. Not to the same frequency that he used to, but he still had a ton of videos that he was releasing over the last two years. Videos that were posted two weeks ago, or even as recent yeah, as five days ago, where he is that same weight, were all apparently recorded years ago. And it's not like it's CGI and it's not AI generated content. Nick actually just had a crazy backlog, like the Library of Alexandria for mukbangs, and he just kept going to the vault to upload some of that yeah. old pre-recorded content as if it was new, and people were none the wiser. I even went through these two videos here in particular just to see if I could find, like, a date somewhere on, like, his phone or when he went to the heart attack grill, like, maybe, like, a calendar sticking on a wall, but... I didn't see anything, maybe I missed it. I did kind of go through it like 2x speed, so maybe it like flashed by really quick and I, I just didn't see it. But I, I do believe him that these were recorded years ago because that's the only logical only explanation way. for how he is 250 way. pounds down right now, yet five days ago he has a video at the Heart Attack Grill where he's still like 400 pounds or whatever it was. Dude was playing chess that's while the rest of us of weight, were playing bro. checkers. He played us like a goddamn violin. And Nick loves the violin. It, many of you might not remember this from the Nick Expanded Universe, the, the lore. Right. But he was actually an incredible violin player. He was more decorated than, like, Captain America in terms of accolades when it What? What the heck? What? Came Vegas! To this. Like, we saw in that In his era, field of violin, he was damn. a very well-regarded, talented player. Watch Corey Kitchen make a video, but he white now. <laughs> 
I'm back. <laughs> and he came out here. And he was just a professional. Styled on us. He like he he really did play us like a sweet melody on that instrument. It was a long eight years, wasn't it? It was a long eight years, and I didn't think that it would have gone this long, but it did. And it was like a bad dream that, <laughs> yeah, it was like a really bad dream that we were waiting for it to be over, and it's over. It was just a dream. For a long time, Nick became over. synonymous with breakdown Crazy. on camera. Nick and breakdown went together like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And that's something people talked about a lot, but then always talked about how it was always fake for views and drama and controversy. I have always somewhat believed that there was always an element of truth to some of the things Nick was saying. I really do believe that Nick okay, was hold on miserable. Now. We with gotta, we gotta, we gotta... Stop with too much skepticism now. Yeah. AI, uh, AI is good. It ain't that good, bro. but it ain't that good, bro. Ain't that good, two bro. years to lose weight is not crazy. It might be a little fast. And then, like, he it's also, not crazy. There's right? also different methods he could have went about it. Yeah. Like, he could have got the gastric sleeve. He there's surgery. There's Olympic. There's hard work and dedication. Nigga. Yeah. There's so many ways you can yeah. lose the weight, bro. And no matter which way he did it, he lost, he lost it. it, and he, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because even like with the with the surgery, the weight gonna fall off, bro. Yeah, because you're not hungry. The he lost weight before Aaron. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Just you know, know what I'm saying? But like, we don't gotta believe every fucking thing is a conspiracy and fake, bro. Yeah. He lost the weight in two years. I don't. We don't seen it plenty of time with people that don't make content on the internet. Just because it's Nick Cotto and he was annoying for eight years on the internet, don't mean he ain't lose the fucking weight. Great work with what he was doing, but felt like That's he a had long to time. Keep doing it. What were y'all doing two years ago? You probably don't even fucking remember. I barely remember. What was that? Twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty two. I don't remember fucking jack shit. Because that was his source of income. That was his livelihood. And he was probably very afraid to just stop doing that. Which is completely understandable because if people are subscribing to watch you eat yourself to death and you stop doing that, they might leave. And now you've got your ass in your asshole and no money being generated anymore because the audience left from you not doing the content they wanted you to be doing. True. And I really do feel like he felt like he was a prisoner to that for a while. I'm not trying to be an armchair psychologist here, it's just I've watched a lot of Nick's content and it really does feel like there is a lot of truth to some of the things he has said during these moments. And the way he talks about it here, calling it a bad dream, isn't exactly a glowing review of that time. You know, if someone said that to me, like, hey Charles, I know we spent eight years together, but it's kind of just like a bad dream I'm done with, I wouldn't exactly be smiling from ear to ear about that. But now Nick has made some big changes, clearly, they and changes. his audience is extremely supportive. They are very receptive to this, cheering him on in a big way, pumping their fist and celebrating this. The video on his main channel about this it is, is exploding. The it video on his second crazy. channel is exploding. He's made two videos and both are popping the fuck off. His community is- You know what? You know what, champ? You gotta respect it. Not only did he lose the weight, you gotta respect it. Think about it. You a muck banker. You gained all this weight because you you obviously you doing it to get to earn an income. You rich as hell, and you're like, damn. If I stop, I might lose all of this. What do you do? You become the villain. You make it. Nick Akato, his channel became not about the muck bank. It became about no, him. Him and being you. so fucking. And him. You, you make it so bad where your audience is like, please change. Yes. And when you do change, they're rooting for it. And it's like, it's it wasn't just on his channel. It was all of these commentary YouTubers and people that just speculate. All of this shit came to where it's like, when we think about Nick Akato, fuck the mukbangs. It's about this nigga's crazy. Yeah. And now that he lost the weight, obviously it's going to be a big, it's an even bigger splash of that if he had done it just in the background with without being so controversial. Mm -hmm. Genius! You're yeah, not. Genius! Now and now... It, facts, that's true. That's, that's true. It. Now, <clears throat> he can really do... What, like, us saying you can do whatever you want is like, that's one thing. But like, because of 
what his name has become, he can really do whatever he wants. Yeah. Like all his controversy was just about him, him being fat. Yeah. And a little a little crazy. But he didn't do nothing like he didn't do nothing to get him locked up. That's yeah. genius, bro. Genius. He's showing nothing but love and oodles of support for this. And it's what people have said for a long time, that if Nick actually did go through this weight loss journey, it'd probably be extremely good for him. Like, not only health-wise, but, like, in terms of his channels and, like, his community. It's inspirational. Like, people would love to see that. And I think it's clearly showing here. And it's not like Nick has to stop doing mukbangs just because he loses a lot of weight. And it seems like he is going to continue to do mukbangs because he loves doing them. We were all just dreaming. Cheers. It's still a lot of food, though. And it's still crazy. I love being a mukbanger. I love food. I like eating food, and I like being here. So, hey. let me know what you think. Just because he's lost 250 pounds doesn't mean that he's washed and you need to hang the jersey in the rafters and retire his jersey number. You know, like he can still keep doing mukbangs the same way he was before, but so now and Jason, appreciate the in sub. a healthier place. Yep. And like I said last time when he had lost, I think it was like 89 pounds at the time, he seems happier. You know, like I, I'm I'm not his therapist. I, I don't know Nick personally, but just from what comes across in the content, he seems happier at lower weights. Very much, like he, very in, much In the so. content where he weighs less, he actually just seems like a happier person. At least that's the impression I get. All right, Opa, you know what to do, bro. Yep. Get him back out to the ranch, twin. Get him back. If, if, if Opa get him out to the ranch, I don't need to read it. That's what? crazy. That's obviously. Anyway, uh, Opa get him back out to the ranch. See skinny him. Do it. Hey, 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 hey. You know what it is. But hey, congratulations, my brother. You did that. Hey, you played us. The villain arc was done well. The weight loss was done well. Hey, you did that. I respect, I respect it. I respect it.